Hey guys, it's Anthony Prado Forby from 4B4 Diesel. I'm going to give you some really important information in regards to maintenance, servicing and safety of any motor vehicle on the road during COVID-19. So, have you thought about and what are your beliefs on whether you're allowed to get your vehicle serviced or not during COVID-19? Well, I suppose it depends whereabouts in the world you are, what state you're in. Obviously, we're in Victoria, Australia. We're in a uh, pretty tight lockdown at the moment. You're not allowed to go more than uh, five kilometers from your home for a uh, few reasons and stuff like that. The only reason you'd be going more than that is if you're like an essential worker type thing. So. Basically, everybody's under the belief and workshops. There's a lot of confusion, to be quite honest. Uh, I've looked at it myself on the DHS website and other information, trying to work out what you're allowed to do or not. And every business, I think, found it very confusing. So um, I'm going to include the important things um, that you should probably maintain and look after if you're not using your vehicle or it's limited use. Uh, but I also like to say, please consider this because it is a matter of safety, okay? So what is a service? A service on a vehicle is really, let's try and simplify it back to two components. One is preventative maintenance, okay? So preventative maintenance is, you know, changing your oil, you know, your oil goes in here, don't just fill it up with oil, it goes in there, check your oil. It's um, changing coolant, it's changing filters, changing the brake fluid, all sorts of things like that. That's preventative maintenance to last, make the vehicle last longer, to prevent, it's your lubricants that lubricate and prevent wear on things or help reduce the wear if you like, okay? That's one aspect to it. The other side is safety, okay? Safety is very important, obviously. Um, a motor vehicle, quite large, they can go quite fast and if you can't steer it and stop it and control it as you normally can or satisfactorily, it's going to become very dangerous, a lethal weapon. Therefore, in my opinion and my experience, it's pretty obvious that if you need to use your motor vehicle, doesn't matter about the restrictions that may have changed lately, we'll get to that, you know, what's happened this week in the last few days. I'm talking, I don't care what the restrictions are. If you're an essential worker, okay, if you're a police officer, if you're an ambulance paramedic, okay, if you work in a hospital, if you work to do with the shops or production of food people need to eat, okay, anything that's essential, you know, look, it's like a house, okay, if a, a pipe split and uh, there's water going everywhere and you've got to shut off the water, you need a plumber to come and fix it, okay, so you don't necessarily need a plumber to come and do a kitchen renovation because that'd be not essential, right? But you know, let's not get into it too much. My point is, some things are essential. So for any of those workers, including you going to work, including you that needs to use the vehicle to go to the shops, even with, if it's within five kilometers, and some people, their shop, they live further out, they don't have a shop that's got what they need, need or any shops within five k, so they're permitted to go a bit further, okay? The other question is, oh, how far are you allowed to go to get your vehicle service? Well, that's another question. We might get to that one if I remember, but the one I want to answer is, wouldn't it be obvious that the car needs to be safe? Now, if every 10,000 kilometers we're doing a service and we've got to check things like the brakes and the tires, now, you might not be going far, but if you've got a wheel on and it's out, you've hit a gutter, you, don't, you only need to go within five k's to hit a gutter, a speed hump, a pothole, a roundabout, whatever happens, right? Hopefully you don't, but it can happen. And then the wheel alignment's out and the tire's wearing really fast and you don't know about it and it's through to the steel belt, it's going to burst at the wrong time or you're on bald tires and when you come to a puddle in the rain one day, it's not going to cut through the water, you're going to aquaplane. Dangerous situations, brake pads that get worn down because you're not going big distances, you're doing a lot more stop-start driving, you happen to be due for a service just before COVID started, all damn years been wasted, 2020 down the drain, I know some people have got bigger problems than this, but this is an important one to think about, right? You were due for a service then. Guess what, guys? It's been six months. It could be many more months. Second wave, third wave, fourth wave. Who knows what's going to happen? You can't stop servicing your vehicles because it's not a choice. It's a necessity for safety, okay? So you can use this video if you like. Share it to your friends. It's something to consider, okay? Hey, maybe I'm wrong. What would I know? I'm not the lawyer on this. I didn't write up the laws, but I use common sense one of the few people around. So if you like common sense, make sure you subscribe and turn that bell on because there's heaps more common sense on our channel and plenty more coming your way. And I'm not done yet. I just sort of remind you that. Okay, so we've got the picture. It's 
safety. It's a safety check. I've just mentioned a couple of things, tires and brakes. Part of what we do on a service is check the vehicle bumper to bumper for safety. Any nuts and bolts loose, anything about to fall off, you know? Who knows? I'm not gonna go into it. It's gonna make the video really long. I'm trying to keep this one short. We're gonna try and keep it under 10 minutes, okay? Now, so, uh, the rules apparently, uh, unofficially, you know, I've heard from, I hear a lot from other automotive businesses, okay? It's an understanding that the rules change this week when the, some restrictions were meant to come off and probably a lot more should have come off. And, and, you know, stupid things like playgrounds are open. Now, we all understand we're sort of meant to be in our own home bubble type thing, so your, your own family, who you live with, okay? But guys, check this one, right? Playgrounds are open. Playgrounds are open, all the parks and playgrounds, so everybody from every household can go down the park and all the kids can play on the play equipment. So if you're sick, you're gonna give it to your kids, your kids are gonna give it to you because you're in your own house bubble, right? But you're no longer in your bubble. You've taken it to the park or you've picked it up from the park and brought it home and everybody in those households gonna get it. Is that stupid or what? Does anyone know how kids roll? Touching the chains, touching the poles, touching their snotty noses or not. Either way, scratching their, you know what, and up and down the slides and touching everything and they haven't got sanitizer in their pocket, okay? So do your best limit how much you go to parks and when you get them home chuck them in the shower and get them all clean put some clean clothes on and hopefully they didn't touch their face and no none of their uh none of the other kids there their parents were healthcare workers working in the covid ward around covid and could be some of those because we know a lot of healthcare workers do get tested positive and get the virus so it's a can of worms guys now but on the on the opposite note you could do something like you're not allowed to do this okay you're not allowed to play golf Go fishing, go hunting, go for a bushwalk, any of these sorts of things that you can do on your own using your own equipment, your own rifle, your own golf clubs, your own fishing rod. On your own you could do it in a public place, open air. You're not allowed to do that. Does that make any sense to you? So, you know, a lot of people think Dan's great. Um, he's got a lot of people conned, I've got to say, and I'm not saying some of these measures didn't have to be taken, but it could be done so much better. Please explain how playgrounds can be open and how these activities you could do it on your own you're not allowed to do it. it makes no sense anyway back on topic what i was trying to say is at the start of the week some restrictions came off and some businesses are going okay it's okay you're allowed to get your car service now they said it's a, it's okay to get your car service now oh okay and i'm thinking you know what it was okay to get your car service before right we'll get into that in a minute there's a number of different businesses i've spoken to and they it's all very confusing some businesses were closed some were open for a while till they got a fine and found oh, it closed. Only open for emergencies. I get the only open for emergencies, but essential workers, cars need to be serviced. We've been through that. And I think any business or vehicle owner should be arguing the point. And I think if you dug deeply enough, you can't be, it's like, you know, you're trying to save, I don't want to sound like I'm not, um, I've got no empathy. Of course we care about everyone, but saving a heap of 90 year olds and doing this to the economy and people's lives for a whole year, and there's no end to it, there's no vaccine, and then it mutates and you need another vaccine. There's no, we've got to live with this. It's a fact we're going to have to live with this. We can't go on like this. Not only the econ economic damage that we're all going to be paying for, for a hundred years, mate. Not you, not your kids, probably their kids as well. This is massive, the cost on the, you know, but it's not all about cost. It's, poor, it's kind of like Rob Peter to pay Paul. So we're gonna save the 90 year olds, but we've got the 16 to 20 year olds and 24 year olds and everybody else, heaps of people, suicide is massively up and that's from people in the industry. That's a fact, okay? Worse than the COVID situation itself, okay? That's directly from people in the industry. So same thing, how can you not service the vehicle because, oh, we're gonna close them because they're not essential or whatever, right? But then they're driving around, they're going to work and back to the hospital and back 40 k's each day, each way, whatever, putting fuel in the car, driving the car, running out of tyres and brakes, oil leaks, fluid leaks, brake lines deteriorating. I don't know what it's gonna be, right? But it's dangerous, okay? It's a matter of safety. You cannot be avoiding and missing vehicle services. They need to be done on time. And my recommendation for servicing, that word servicing, that safety check, okay that preventive maintenance officially i don't care what make or model is it should be 10,000 k's maximum or six months whichever comes first change your oil in between because oil is the lifeblood of the major component on the engine and it's cheap maintenance cheap guys anyway i think i've put the information out there 
Just quickly, I'll say some of the most important things to maintain if you're not driving your vehicle is the battery. See the battery there? That's you know one thing I wanted to mention. So keep your batteries on charge. That's something important to keep in mind. Um, engines should be at left sitting with clean oil. If it's going to sit there like that, clean oil, not dirty oil. So if you didn't know, sorry, I did do a video mentioning this. You may need to make sure you're subscribed and got that bell on so you don't miss this important information that a lot of other people aren't telling you. Okay, so if you haven't done it, order some oil from your cheapest on special superstore. I don't mean your cheapest oil, you know, you can get some Penrod or whatever you want from Super Cheap, Repco, Auto Barn, any of these places. Look around, check the specials online, click and collect, go get it, learn how to change your own oil. We've got a few oil changing videos on our channel. You can search how to change my engine oil. I think we've got a Honda, a Camry, we've got some Prados. You can get deep in the other videos and really get yourself educated how to look after your vehicle. I hope this helps you save some money. Hope this helps you be safe and understand. I don't know what rules changed a week ago, but you know apparently it's official now. You can get your vehicle serviced. You can travel more than five k's to do it. Well, that's great, but in my opinion, you could do it before anyway because it was a matter of safety. It's a matter of life and death. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't, please in the comments any information you've got that's official um, relating to any of that information. It'd be good to know, and anyone watching should perhaps check those comments. And bada bing, bada boom, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you got some out of that. See ya.